Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, telescoping gauges. Now you watched me bore this part on the uh, mill um, in the last video. Uh, you saw me use these telescoping gauges, uh, but you really couldn't see how I was doing it, so I'm going to make this video to show you a little bit uh, closer detail how I use it. Uh, these telescoping gauges, this is a, a SPI set. That's the brand name. That's about a middle of the road. You can get really cheap sets for under $100. Um, you're going to really take your chances with whether or not you're going to get a, a, a usable set that way. Uh, all the, on the other hand, uh, I have a set of Mitotoyos that are comparable to the Steritz. Both of those are going to be close to $300 for a set. Uh, this set measures from from the smallest one that will measure a hole as small as 5 16 to the largest one which uh, will measure 6 inches so yeah that's quite a range uh, you wouldn't really need any other sets once if you had a set like this um, and this is a, a, a nice cheap uh, way to measure holes um, instead of spending the you know thousand dollars or whatever on a bore gauge um, and it's better than just or, or a set of inside micrometers which we'll talk about those in another video um, this one here we have uh, three well four different size holes these two are three quarter of an inch seven eighths one inch, inch and a quarter. Now I could use all of them with this same telescoping gauge, although it, I hesitate to use the absolute low end unless I have to, because it's it's kind of hard to get in there. I'm going to use this and this this size here to do the three quarter inch first. And these are all going to be pretty much the same. I'll use this bigger one. To, they're called telescoping gauges because these telescope. These uh, plungers are spring-loaded. Um, they are very fragile instruments, um, so you want to be very careful. Um, what you want to do is, uh, when it's loose, push those down the smallest size, and then tighten this thumb screw at the bottom until it doesn't move. Then, what I like to do is I'll put it in the hole, then loosen it, and then move it up and move it back and forth. Let me zoom in on that so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You just see how it's uh, loosen that. You can move this back and forth. Try to find the center of that movement. Now I'm going to tighten the end. I'll go ahead and back this out so you can see better again. So I'll. Uh, so you can see the whole thing and there I'll loosen this thumb screw find that spot in the center just tighten it enough that it doesn't move and then I will roll this across and then when I'm done I'll tighten this up I'll zoom in a little bit better so you can see how I use the micrometer now so I'm going to hold it this way. This has uh, been tightened. That should transfer. These are uh, these tools here. Now to measure, to get an actual measurement, use the micrometer. And you're going to try to find the high spot. Each of these ends is convex, so it's got a little slight radius. So there, there's only one high spot on the entire thing. So you want to rock it this direction and this direction. So you can also use your micrometer, move it that way. Just a little bit what you're trying to do, holding one and the other, you're trying to find that high spot. Where is that highest spot? And you, once you find it, it's right there, then you want to uh, tighten, you know, you want, you want to get the same feel 
that you felt when you were when you were measuring it once you feel like you you've matched that feel go ahead and tighten your uh, and then look at it and there I've got my micrometer you can see it's reading uh, it that way so it focuses and I've got one inch 250 now you have to develop kind of a feel for that I'm gonna go ahead one of the things now when you're done don't just let it snap open loosen it bring it out gently now they will you do that you follow these rules you'll have a set like this for a long time I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the smaller one once again I'm gonna get it on the inside but it's already at full extension because it's the smallest it'll do, the largest it'll do is inch and a quarter so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up where it's at so it's gonna be snug and now I'll once again roll that over because this one is smaller I'll tighten up that uh, set screw um, because this one is smaller it's gonna have a lighter feel uh, so now I'm, I'm gonna try to find the same thing convex ends I'm gonna rock the back and forth and up and down to find that high spot once I've got that high spot I want to have that same feel that I had when I measured the hole and Go ahead and tighten that up, and there is your micrometer measurement there, one inch two fifty. So you can get a pretty accurate measurement that way. Um, like I said, with these these three quarter inch holes, the same thing. Uh, I would prefer to use the smaller one. So I'll loosen it, give it a little bit of snug, fit it in the hole, roll that over. It's a really light feel there. Feel that, tighten that end up. And now we're going to use the zero to one. That was a Starrett micrometer. This is a Fowler mic. So we'll, uh, get it close to where the measurement is it needs to be there's 600 750 and now I'll roll my micrometer on it same exact feel going across here you got find that high spot across those convex ends of those plungers once I find it, try to feel that exact same feel. So it really is an art to this. You develop a touch. Tighten that. Try that again. Just to make sure I have to feel like I moved it when I uh, moved it. So there's... And there I got uh, measurement of. You see that, seven fifty one. So we'll do one more, showing you the other telescoping aid. This is. Uh, from three quarter to one and a quarter so I'll squeeze it down tighten it up get it in the hole just like the other one you know I moved it back and forth try to find the center of that move it up a little bit make sure there's it falls in the highest point tighten that up on the end Let me zoom that out a little bit you can see it and I'm going to roll that across and tighten that end up and we'll bring it back in 
so you can see me measure across there and you'll notice when I'm holding let me zoom out and let me show you how I'm holding my micrometer um, I like to support it everybody has their own technique you'll find one that works for you I've got I like to hold it with my little finger wrapped around the 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 the, the, the uh, frame and these two fingers supporting it and that leaves me the two fingers on the end that I can move back and forth um, that way I can I've always got complete control of the mic it's not going anywhere I'm not going to drop it so on this particular one let me find that uh, high spot again across those convex plungers there I kind of find it you want to be really gentle you notice I'm not even using the friction thimble I'm using my fingers because I'm I want to have complete control over where that micrometer is um, I don't trust the friction thimble myself um, I trust my feel I've been doing this long enough that uh, I'm confident in what I'm measuring um, and you'll build that confidence yourself it just takes practice so whenever you get an opportunity out in the shop uh, grab one of these old parts that you'll have laying around there's a few of them here examples and uh, measure some holes have your friends measure holes your classmates measure across there there I find I feel like that's right where I need to be tighten that one and there again is uh, about 751 almost 750 and a half so uh, go ahead and uh, there's a little bit different feel when you got the bigger ones like I said when you're loosening those same thing with the small ones you don't want to just let them snap open loosen it and move them out gently and these you know the you know this is an expensive uh, precision tool you want to uh, take the best care you possible care you can of it and it will uh, serve you for a very very long time um, if you uh, abuse them then uh, they won't last nearly as long so hopefully there's not any questions uh, hope that that helps you understand how to use these and uh, we will see you next time